don't mic the bell. <laughs> okay. Because, you know, like, and what, what you just said, if we cover all, if we get a bigger resonance, right? Also, if we cover everything, the sound only comes out from one place, which is here. For this particular note, like a low E. So if you mic the bell, and I, I, I just have to say this because generally when I, when I go for performances, the question that um, many sound engineers ask is like, um, where does the sound come out from? And I mean, they're not wrong because the textbook tells them it, uh, it comes out from the bell. So they'll look for the bell, but the sound does not come out from the bell. The sound comes out from like, wherever there's a hole. The first hole it has, yes. the sound will escape from there. Yeah. So, um, yeah, here. Never the bell, because... It means like about 45 degrees yeah, to the... From uh, overhead mic, um, okay. yeah, 45 degrees, around here, target here. Okay. The sweet spot's around here. Then, uh, I'll, I'll just um, demonstrate an example. If I were to mic the bell, but of course without the mic, so I'll get this kind of effect through the speaker, it'll be like... Oh, I see, I see. Because, you know, when I press everything down, the sound comes out only here. Then you know the sound engineers like when in general um, doing sound check they're like check. Then oh how come he's so soft? Because you know we're normally playing here and we only have one or two notes here. So you're like mm, better up the gain a bit. Up, up, up. <laughs> no, it's true and I've I've seen it firsthand. That's why I have to address this. And it's even worse because it was done on a berry sex. So okay. you can imagine the resonance of bah. I'm like oh my god. Okay. okay, so so please mic here and not here. Okay. Circular breathing is a technique that not everyone can do. And uh, when you are writing, uh, when composers write, I highly suggest giving us space to breathe. Plus, the I circular breathing is my bad habit, let's just say. Because phrasing, you know, sometimes phrasing is, is meant to stop. If you keep going on and on, talking, 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 your ears can get a bit now, uh, numb, numb to the, to what you're hearing. So sometimes you do need to have a, uh, a logical breath. However, if you really need to write something really, really long, or maybe even virtuosic, and you know, I mean, it is impressive if you're playing something virtuosic and you do it all in one breath, one breath. So <laughs> circular breathing <laughs> comes into play. Um, there's this one passage where it, it's, it's basically a fantasy of Rigoletto. So we go like... Yeah, I'm a bit rusty, but it basically goes on like this for the whole page. And there's no place to breathe, so I actually circular breathe. And to circular breathe, um, the, the, the biggest concept is to first, you know, the air goes out, uh, out of your mouth with the help of the cheek puffing and then the air goes in through your nose. So it's like... Like that. Yeah. So this is the basic. But then I met someone who can do it without the puffing. Okay. So I... Jaw I, drop, right? Jaw? I, I, don't, I don't even know. I, I, I kind of got a grasp of what to do, but I can't explain it. So this is the first demonstration. And normally if you want to start circular breathing, start on moving notes. So you, you don't hear the bumps. Um, this is what you will first hear if you attempt circular breathing, you hear like Then after a while of practicing, once you get this concept, then after a while of practicing you get like You know, you can still hear it but it's not so much and This I really took a lot of focus, <laughs> try to avoid any bumps, but if you move uh, I'll, I'll just do it the first time if, let's say I first try circular breathing. Um, you, there is still a bump, but it's not so obvious. Yeah, yeah. And this is important because you don't get demoralized. Yeah, the morale is very important when trying to discover circular breathing. Then once you get this, once you get a concept, then you can apply it to okay. holding notes. So what about trills? Can can I can a composer use a trill as a very safe way for you to circular breathe? Mm, lower register is comfortable with a trill. Higher register, you may mask it, but there may be a bump. So I'm I'm I I practice it a lot, so I can okay. use it in both the registers. Okay. Um, the altissimo register, I can't do it. Okay. So. 
you know, already the, with the register key is difficult. Altishimo, you, the person needs to be really, really good at doing circular breathing. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. Uh, Wow, wow, very yeah. cool. So